Are you wondering what the voice knob does on the Fender Champion 20? Well, in this video, I'm gonna clear up any confusion because I'm gonna actually go through and demo each setting on the voice knob to help you get the sound that you want on your amp at home. Hey, I'm Derek at 5 Minute Music, and I have over 25 years experience playing the electric guitar, helping students to dial in their amps, doing recording and live sound. So I'm excited to give you three things that will help you use the voice knob on your Fender Champion 20. And, of course, I'll demo all those settings for you. So let's get started. The first thing that will help you use the voice knob is to realize that they're arranged into four families or styles of amps. And they are tweed, blackface, British, and metal. Now, what those refer to, when, for instance, when you hear tweed, tweed refers to the old classic Fender amps that were covered with the tweed fabric. While the black face amps are those classic Fender amps that had the black metal faceplate where the control knobs are. And then when we get to the British amps, just think Vox or Marshall style amps. And then of course the metal would be the newer, higher gain style amps. And that brings us into point number two, that these are arranged in chronological order with the tweed amps being like from the 1950s, maybe early 60s. And then the blackface amps are specifically from the 1965 set of amps. And then the British amps are 1960s, 70s, and 80s British amps. And then the metal would be from uh, like the 80s and 90s up to 2000s in the newer, higher gain style amps. So, and those are indicated by the indicator lights. So red, green, and yellow for each one. So you have four families with three different ones in each for a total of 12 different sounds. So how does knowing that they're in chronological order help you? Well, think about this. If there's an artist or a band that you like and you know sort of what era they were playing in, well, maybe that'll help you dial in a sound. For instance, if you're listening to an artist that recorded in the 1950s or early 1960s, there is a chance that they were using more of a tweed style amp. Whereas, for instance, if it's a newer band and they're higher gain, well, you'd know, okay, maybe it might be the metal setting 90s and 2000s whereas if it's maybe a british rock band from the 70s or 80s you might want to start on the british channel you know looking at the 70s and 80s setting so knowing the time frame can help now here's one catch a band that's newer can use older amps so for instance you could have a band right now recording that's using 1950 style tweed amps and that's possible but if you go back and it's an older artist, they can't be using newer amps. So hopefully knowing the time frame of the amps and the artist will help you narrow down the sound more quickly. So if you find that useful, just give me a thumbs up if you would. That will help me know that I'm giving you content that's really helpful to you. Now, let's get into the demo. As I play for you, I'm not gonna change anything on my guitar or any other settings that amp. The only thing that will be changed is the voice setting from sound to sound. That way you get a really good idea of the difference of each sound, the volume level, the sound of the gain, for instance, built into that voice. So I want you to be able to hear that. And then on the screen, you'll see it'll say tweed, red, basement. And what that means is it's the tweed family of amps, it's the red indicator light, and basement is the sound that it's sounding like. So here we go. I'm going to play it and the description will be on the screen. Enjoy.
Now, having heard the great tones that come out of this amp, if you're thinking, man, I really want to get this amp, this amp is $129.99 plus tax and it has free two-day shipping. So if you're thinking, that's a great price, it's a great sounding amp, I want to get this amp, click below in the description below, click on buy now, that'll take you to amazon.com and you can buy this amp. I think you'll love it. But if you have more questions, if you're thinking, you know, I'd like to know a certain, about certain features of this amp, down in the comments below, the question of the day is, what feature of the Fender Tamiya 20 would you like to know more about? Just drop me a comment below, I'd love to answer your question. Now, if you'd love to see a video, I can post a video right here that'll give you more information and three settings for the Fender Champion 20. If you click right here, that video will tell you how the Fender Champion 20 and Fender Champion 40 compare. And as always, if you click right there and subscribe and hit the bell, you'll be the first to get notifications when I come out with more product reviews like this. As always, thank you for your time. God bless. Have a good day.